think about what we need to know for problem number two, rotating the robot 90 degrees. We need to program the robot to turn or rotate. The blocks program requires some information from the robot. We need to know how the IMU is oriented on the robot. For this example, the orientation is along the Z axis. The IMU considers X and Y to be horizontal axis, sometimes referred to as roll and pitch. The Z axis is vertical. Rotating around that axis is called yaw, which is a navigational word for turning left or right. Now that we know we want to rotate the robot around the z-axis orientation, let's write that op mode. Let's start by creating a function called getZ-AxisOrientation that returns the z-orientation of the robot. Go to the functions tray and select the block that returns a value. Now let's insert a comment saying what we're about to do. First, get z-axis orientation of the IMU. Go to the variables tray to create a variable called angles. Select the set angles to block and place it under the comment. Go to the sensors tray and select the IMU BNO 055. Then the call IMU get angular orientation and connect it to the set angles block. Here's where the orientation of the IMU is needed for the op mode. For the axis reference, select the intrinsic option, change the axis order to Z, Y, X, and make sure the angle unit says degrees. Let's return the Z orientation, which is the first angle because we set the axis order to Z, Y, X. Now go to Utilities, then Orientation, and select the Orientation First Angle Block plug it into the return part of the function block. Change the orientation to the angles variable. Now we have a function that will return the Z orientation of the robot. Yes, we need the robot to turn around the Z axis counterclockwise 90 degrees. But let's create a function that will yaw left to any orientation from 0 to 180 degrees. You mean the robot will take a left turn? Correct. Let's do an incremental save op mode before we create the next function. Now, let's write down the steps needed to rotate the robot counterclockwise. We need to set the power so the robot rotates in a CCW direction. Loop until we've reached the target orientation. And finally, stop the motors and rest before we go forward again. Let's write that op mode. Go to Functions category to create a function with input. Name the function rotate CCW for counterclockwise and create an input called target orientation angle. Now we're going to add comments that explain what we're going to have the function do. Make the first one rotate in CCW direction. The second one assumes we haven't turned more than 180 degrees. And the third one get initial orientation about the z-axis. Let's create a variable called z-orientation. Now we select the set z-orientation block and place it under the three comments. Set the variable to the value returned by the get z-axis orientation function by getting the block with that name and plugging it into the set block. Go to miscellaneous and add the comment Set power so robot rotates in CCW direction under the variable set Z orientation block. Now we need to set the motor's powers to cause the robot to rotate counterclockwise. Go to actuators, DC motor, dual select, set power, and set the left motor's power to minus 0.2 and the right to positive 0.2. Go to miscellaneous and add a comment loop until we've reached the target orientation, which is approximately 90 degrees. Now we need to add the while loop that will continue the orientation to 90 degrees and rotate the robot. Go to loops, select the repeat while do loop and place under the comment. Let's add some logic. Go to the logic category, select equal sign block and place it next to the repeat while. Change the equal sign to a less than sign. In the first blank of the math block, place the variable Z orientation, and in the second blank of the math block, place target orientation angle variable. In the do of the loop, let's add a comment. Go to miscellaneous and select a comment. Then type 
update current orientation about Z. Go to Variable, select Set Z Orientation To, and place below the comment. Connect the function Get Z Axis Orientation to it. Below the loop, place the comment Stop the Motors. To do this, go to Actuators, DC Motor, Dual, then select Set Power Block that has two zeros, and place it below the comment. Now, add a comment. Wait a moment for the robot to stop. To make the robot rest for a quarter second, go to Linear Op Mode and select the Call to Sleep block. Place it under the comment and then change the milliseconds to 250. We've completed the function Rotate CCW, which will cause the robot to turn counterclockwise to a particular orientation. Now let's do an incremental save. Join us next time where we will create a function for the clockwise rotation. Until then, goodbye everyone! <laughs>